Grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the Why Be Merely Human video blog, and my name is Ryan McKeel. This morning I'd like to talk to you about peace. So it's a really cozy day here in Denver, Colorado. We've got uh, some snow moving in. It's December, and I had uh, two options this morning waking up uh, that I could figure. <clears throat> First one I aimed to was pick up the iPhone, play around. Uh, then the second one that I settled on was reading the Word. It seems like every Saturday I have this dilemma, especially when I get up early before my kids and family. So I have the option to um, meet with technology and check my email, Twitter, Facebook, online, anything, check out shopping, you know, Christmas is coming out, stuff like that. Or I have the option just to dive into God's Word. And, and frequently God's Word is, well, all the time, is what gives me peace. Uh, and it seems like shopping and checking email and all that sort of stuff, especially if I do it at the beginning of the day, is what robs me of my peace. So it's no, it's uh, no coincidence that Paul, in a lot of his letters in the New Testament, started with grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, because peace is attainable. Uh, Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So we have the chance to have the peace of God. And that is huge. Don't let technology or shopping or relationships or anything come between the peace of God that you can have. Um, how can you have that peace of God? Well, it says right here, let your requests be made known to God. Uh, everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Um, let your request be made known to God. So, I really encourage you. I mean, it's ironic that we have Thanksgiving as a holiday, and the very next day, it's about attaining things. And and we we can say, oh, we've got to get our shopping list complete. So it's really for others. But we really go around frantically this time of year and skip the whole peace that can come through the Christmas season, realizing Christ's sacrifice for us and. The fact that Christ came to this earth um, as a baby is incredible. I have a newborn who's a little over a month old, and and so I should be spending daily time with her, cherishing her, and and uh, and appreciating what God did in sending His Son, instead of just constantly filling up my mind with electronics and things of this world. The word says, "Don't be entangled to things of this world." Uh, so encourage you this Christmas season, this winter season, to enjoy time in a cozy chair, take a look out and enjoy enjoy the peace of the holiday and not the frantic nature of it. Um, thanks.